Welcome to the study of mathematics. We are considering the relationship between the backward difference operator, which is represented by this symbol as the triangle inverted and the shift operator. So E stand for the shift operator. They stand for the backward difference operator. How are they rela related? So to begin with, we are going to define the backward operator of f of x which is defined as f of x minus f of x minus h so that is the definition of backward operator the definition of shift operator of f of x is defined as f of x plus h so from the definition of the backward difference operator of f of, of f of x which is equal to f of x minus f of x minus h we make this part which is negative positive uh, so that we obtain the following f of x minus h is equal to f of x we take this other part on the right hand side so that it become negative negative um, back one difference operator of f of x which is equal to we factor f of x so that now you will be left with 1 minus back one difference operator that way f of x in bracket 1 minus back one difference operator after factoring f of x outside then we divide with f of x throughout so that now you will have f of x minus h which is equal to 1 minus back one difference operator note that shift of f of x is equal to f of x plus h which follows that now f of x minus h is the same as e shift operator negative 1 from this negative part there. Hence, hence e power negative 1 is equal to 1 minus the shift operator is equal to 1 minus the back one difference operator which we can write as follows meaning that uh, one is the same as the back one difference operator plus the inverse of the shift operator as shown there so that is the relationship which we do e power negative one is equal to one minus back one difference operator or one is equal to back one difference operator plus inverse of shift operator so that is how they are related on how to stand the other properties of the shift operator tune on to my channel so that you may keep on learning together as I take you through uh, these properties of the shift operator on a simple uh, method step. Remember, you can also study other areas through my playlist on the shift difference operator. Bye-bye for now. See you in the next video.